What's going on, y'all? It's J.D. Pakel. Today on The Hard Count, we're going to talk about why the Big 12 should not add any group of five teams. Welcome into 365 Sports. Please subscribe to the channel. It's going to help us help you and just allow us to grow our presence, grow our channel, and continue to turn out content that you want to see. Tell us what you want to see. Comment below. Say, I'm tired of seeing realignment. Or, hey, I want to see more realignment. Whatever you want to see, we're going to make sure we get that on deck for you. But if you subscribe, it makes our job a lot easier. Again, we exist to service you and to just promote this community keep this party rolling into college football season. And college football season is just days away. We are inches, inches away from real game action. And before that, obviously, we have to talk about realignment because that's been the story since Oklahoma and Texas said, deuces, we're leaving the Big 12, we're going to the SEC, left everybody up in arms and has just created a myriad of conversations to talk about when it comes to Big 12 realignment or uh I guess, dissipation, if that's a word. Armstrong, think that's a word, dissipation. Uh, So we're going to just go with dissipation. That could dissolve. All that's to say, it could dissolve. Uh, One of the big solutions people have pitched is add group of five teams. And I'm here to tell you, I don't want to see that. I would just as soon rather see the Big 12 die, perish forever, be gone, never exist ever again, than add group of five teams. And I have a couple reasons for that. But before I jump into those, I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm okay with adding one to two group of five teams. If the Big 12 were in a situation where they could just add UCF, USF, perfect. I'm I'm in for it. Let's do that. The reality is they're not. They lost two enormous fish and adding UCF and USF are not, you know, replacing what they lost. So at this point for the Big 12, you got to add more than just one to two teams. Okay. Because if you add one to two, let's say you had 10 teams. Let's, I don't know who it would be. Let's just say, for example, you had 10 teams. You had a smaller hole to fill. That'd be good for competition because UCF and USF, for the sake of this conversation, would be good in terms of on-field product. Uh, also, those are two schools. Again, assuming it's USF, USF and UCF, it could be Memphis, could be Houston, could be SMU. Two group of five schools would also be able to add a good amount of a different market. So whether it's Florida, whether it's Memphis, uh, whether you add to the Dallas market that you already have with TCU, it would make sense on that level. Now, reasons why I'm against this are many, but we'll try and keep it to just a couple. The first and probably the biggest one for me is you make the Big 12 then a JV league, okay? So you add at a minimum probably four teams. That's probably what you have to add. I think probably more in the range of six to eight, honestly. But let's say you add four teams. At that point, a third of your conference is then what was considered a while ago before they joined your conference. Those teams, those four teams were considered just before they joined your conference to be group of five. Or the code for that is JV. Like those were JV teams that now got called up to the varsity to be in your conference. And everyone's excited because you kept the conference alive. But did you really keep the conference alive? Or did you just sign your own death warrant? Is death warrant a thing? I think death warrant's a thing. We're, we're really getting in the weeds here with dissipation and, and death warrants. But all that's to say, you just signed the end of your conference's relevance. Because if you add four teams that are JV, you then become the JV conference. And so to have four of your 12 teams, again, that's being generous, assuming it's only four teams, could be more than that. If your conference is then considered to be the lesser of the power five, you're no longer dealing with the power five. You then have the power four conferences and you join those other JV conferences. And so the reason why that's significant is because with the expansion of the playoff, who do you think is going to get a tiebreaker if it comes to the Big 12 and the Pac-12? Big 12 and the SEC, last playoff spot, who do you think is getting it? It's not the Big 12. I can tell you that right now. It's not the Big 12, the team that had to play UCF, USF, Memphis, and Houston in their regular season schedule. They're not getting the bid. It's going to be the team that had to play Alabama, Georgia, Texas, Oklahoma, their regular season schedule. That's going to get the nod from the conference, not the JV schedule. So for the Big 12, this hurts you as a whole long term. It's not just a one season solution to keep it alive. And that's why I think it's also something we got to look at. You're making a long term decision based on some really short-term information. Like before 2017, we're not even considering UCF to be a Power 5 caliber program. Before they went undefeated and and beat Auburn and Scott Frost worked miracles there, nobody's talking about UCF. They were a bottom dweller. But now because they had a couple good seasons under their belt, we want to talk about adding them to a Power 5 conference and them saving the Big 12. 
like let, let's all just calm down a little bit. The sample size for UCF being irrelevant and being a bottom dweller is a lot larger than it is for them being the savior for the Pac-12, or excuse me, for the Big 12. And that's not just to pick on UCF. That's across all of these schools. Okay, so Cincinnati. Cincinnati's honestly been better than a lot of these group of five schools. We'll just use them as an example. They've been probably in the upper echelon for a while, but what happens if they were to go, let's say, five and seven this year, miss a bowl game? That won't happen, obviously, but just dream with me. A group of five school you want to add that you think is a good caliber program right now goes five and seven. Then what happens? Miss a bowl game. Then you don't want to add them anymore, right? Then your whole psyche changes. The recency bias is really going to be cancerous for us as we try and consider at a group of five teams. And so that's a really tough gamble to make on the future of your conference if you're going to go ahead and add these teams based on some recency bias, some short-term information that you have right now. Because if you do have one of these teams, you're not getting out of that contract easy. Like it is a till death do us part. We're in it together in sickness and in health. In bowl games or no bowl games, we are together for the long haul. And so to add them based on a couple good seasons, again, really speaking to UCF here, because that seems to be the favorite for a lot of these fan bases in the Big 12, adding them. You want to add them because they went undefeated one season and because they've been relevant the last couple seasons? I don't think that's really what you want. I think you think that's what you want because you've seen them be successful in recent history. That's not going to be the solution to this entire, this entire operation. So all that's to say, don't add a group of five team. Don't, don't be so short-sighted. Broaden the scope. Look at the entire body of work here. Look at the entire data pool that is available to you. And let's just be a little more conscientious with how we make this decision. Again, I think my personal opinion is let's add some independence. And I don't know how doable that is. So another video for another time. Talked about BYU and how they would make sense in the, in the Big 12. Again, we're not going to do that here. We've already done that. But Group of five schools are not the solution. They will never be the solution. And they're definitely not going to be the savior for the Big 12. So that's it for us here at The Hard Count. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We will keep this party rolling. College football season is upon us. I want you with us. I want you to be able to experience this together with everyone here at 365 Sports. Going to be a lot of fun. Don't miss a minute of it. We will see you all next time.